Hey, I bought more animation cells. So, um, about a year ago, I did a video where I bought some animation cells from a place called Animation Legends. And, uh, truthfully, I wasn't planning on doing another video on this, but I got a notice not too long ago that Animation Legends was closing. And they were having a huge 50% off sale for their whole site, I guess, to liquidate the rest of their uh, inventory. Um, so I figured if I was going to buy from them, <laughs> now would be the time to do it. So uh, I got a bunch here. Uh, I also have some other stuff I'm going to show off. Um, so uh, what did I get from them? Well, um, unfortunately, uh, pickings were kind of slim at the time. I was keeping an eye on them for the longest time, but... Uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, cell collecting is kind of a expensive hobby, which is why I've not dabbled in it too much. But um, I was keeping an eye on them, and they did have some stuff I did like. Uh, unfortunately, there wasn't really a lot left because of, you know, their closing. They probably didn't have a lot left in the first place, and, you know, other people were taking advantage of the sale. Um, it is kind of a shame that they're closing, too, because they were a pretty good uh, place to get stuff like this. Uh Shame that, uh, that, uh, sponsorship deal is not going to happen. It wasn't going to happen. Um, so what did I get from them? Well, um, they had a couple of individual cells. There's two of them in here that I got. And, uh, I might've mentioned this in the last video, but they actually do have, uh, like, well, they had, I guess they had, um, like mystery packs where you can buy like five to 10 or 15 cells from a specific show. And they had a bunch there and there's a lot there that I kind of regret not getting because they had some good stuff like real ghostbusters. They had he man, they had skeleton warriors, which I probably should have gotten. Unfortunately they didn't have any. Um, most heartbreaking though was they had street fighter, the animated series, the American one. And a lot of the cells from that look really good. And apparently they do uh, guarantee that you'll get like a good sell. So you're not going to get like a leg or a mouth or something stupid like that. You get like a nice character shot to, for framing purposes. Um, and by the way, I do have the other two stored away. I haven't like framed them or anything yet. I have to figure out uh, where I'm going to hang things, especially now that I got more. So I bought two extra mystery packs. Um, I don't know how these are in here. I'm assuming... Okay, you know what? Uh, before I go touching these... Let's go, uh, let's put on the old cotton gloves. Uh, they do appear to be in little bags, so uh, I guess we'll just pull them out as per, uh, as per needed, or whatever I grab onto first. So I have two individual cells and I have two mystery packs. Uh, I'll explain more about those when we get to them. Uh, okay, that's, that's one of the mystery packs. Um, let's see here. Uh, okay, so here's, I guess this is the individual cells. Let me pull one out. Okay, they, they are, they are, um, they are separated. Okay, so first one from the individual cells. I got Sandstorm from Bravestar. I guess I don't need my gloves since they're in these nice little packages. So, <laughs> it's Sandstorm, one of the bad guys from Bravestar. Um, there's a reason why I have this guy. Uh, also, you know, it's a nice cell. Very, uh, very good. It's a nice character shot. He's, he's laughing. He's having a good time. It's a good, uh, good shot of the character. Uh, so there he is right there. There's one of the individual ones. And, uh, here's the other individual one sticking out. Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Let me put this down here. Uh, so here's uh, another Brave Star villain. <laughs> nice character portrait there. Uh, I believe this is Thunderstick. He's like a robot cowboy. He's another bad guy. Uh, so yeah, they had these two as like individual cells available. Uh, the reason why I got these two was because, if you remember from the last video, one of the cells I had bought a long time ago, not from them, but from uh, eBay, is uh, this one here. This is... Uh, well, there's a lot of reflect. Oh, cool! You can see you can see my room. Look, there's my computer. I might have made the same joke last time. I don't remember. This is um, this is Stampede, like the big bad from the show. This giant uh, dinosaur, demon, cyborg, alien creature. He's really cool. So I saw those two, and I was like, 
Well, now I have a small collection of uh, Brave Star <laughs> villains as uh, as my uh, as, uh, uh, incidentally just you know happened to collect Brave Star villain. <laughs> Uh, I gotta review that show sometime. Um, it is, uh, it's very interesting. It's a long show. I don't know when I'll do it. I'm still working through my He-Man retrospective. I'm gonna hopefully get that out sooner rather than later. Get that done and move on with my life. But, uh, Brave Star is kind of an interesting show. It was Filmation's last TV show. And, uh, it has very, uh, a lot of complicated stuff in it. Let's just put it that way. Oof, that one particular episode I'm thinking of. If you know, you know. But, uh, yeah, there he is. There's, uh, there's, <laughs> there's Sandstorm. Let me, uh, let me mimic the, uh, the, the, the face for the thumbnail. How's that looking? The lighting's not good in here right now either. I just kind of sat down and did this because I, uh, have to get ready for work tomorrow. All right, so... Those are the uh, individual cells I bought. Let's look at one of the mystery packs. Oh, man. Did they shove them all into one bag? Oh, no. Okay. All right. So, because of, because of that, um, the, uh, the, one of the mystery packs I bought was for Brave Star. I figured, you know what? Let's see if we get another villain. Maybe I can get Tex Hex. Or uh, the little cactus guy. Or the little uh, gnome creature that's always smoking cigars. Or maybe we'll get some... Okay, I have to take these off real quick to open up the bag. Alright. Gotta be very careful with these, they're old. Okay, the bag is open. Gloves are back on. I, uh, I do have to maybe get some frames... For some of these, uh, by the way, the uh, the backgrounds on these I should mention are reproductions. So they, they made clear to they made it clear to say that. Uh, all right, so I don't know how I'm going to do this now. They they seem to have shoved all the other cells into one bag. Um, I guess I'll look at them quick first. Okay, I see Brave Star. I see a couple of Brave Stars in there. Let me uh, put that down. All right, so the first one is uh, oh well. This is not a great one, unfortunately. Let me put that on the floor. It's a Brave Star, like, climbing on something, it looks like. That's that's kind of an awkward one. I'm, uh, my biggest fear right now is that, you know, because the site was closing and they didn't have a lot left, is I'm getting kind of the scraps, but I, I figured it's at least worth a shot. I mean, thankfully, I didn't play, pay full price, but uh, I see some in here that look, have a little bit of potential. So uh, here's another Brave Star right there. Just kind of, just kind of hanging out. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of cells like this. Um, it seems that a lot of people, um, a lot of people have been uh, putting a lot of their inventory on eBay because I've been checking that out as well. Okay, so here's a potentially good. Okay, this is a good one. It is off centered, but that is a that is a nice shot right there. Uh, paint appears to be flaking off, but I guess that's to be expected with. Uh, an animation cell from like 40 years ago. Um, it always amazes me when you see like even older animation cells. It's like, you know, you, you look at like an old show from like the 60s or 70s or even like a, like something like the Looney Tunes or something. And it's like, wow, that's still hanging around. Impressive. Because at the time, you know, nobody thinks that like this is, this is going to be collectible. You know, these are just like, hey, uh, our show's done. We could probably get rid of all these, and yet sometimes they they hang around. Um, so uh, I, I guess oftentimes, like a lot of the animators, I guess keep them as uh, you know little mementos. It's interesting seeing the backsides of these because the front looks great, but then like the back is yeah. Okay, so yeah, um, so far only really one of these looks any good. Uh, there, I really wish I had jumped on one of the other shows that they had because they had uh, like I said they had Ghostbusters they had um, He-Man uh, it's a shame the uh, it seemed that the Street Fighter one sold out like right away so here's uh, here's Tex Hex well there's there's one villain uh, great villain by the way from what I remember from the show 
Very, uh, very surprisingly complex for uh, filmation. And I believe that is it for Brave Star. Uh, I got certificates of authenticity in here. Uh, Animation Legends. Yep, there they are. It has my address on it. Let's not show that on camera. All right, so the other mystery pack that I bought was... Let me move these out of the way. The other mystery pack I bought was Ewoks. The Ewoks cartoon. They had that. Um, they had a couple from droids as individual cells, but nothing really too great. But uh, the Ewoks one is kind of cool, I guess. Uh, and these actually look a little bit better than the Brave Star ones. So, oh yeah, oh wow, this is this is in very good condition too. It's one of the um, the little green dudes. I forget their names. The the villains. That that's a good one. It's this one's in really good condition too. Incredible. No flakes on it or anything. That's that's a good one. Okay, that that's a good one. It does suck when you get an animation cell and things are kind of off-centered because it makes it hard to frame them. I don't know if I'm going to frame all of these, but uh, I'll just see what I get out of this. Uh, all right, so here's um, well, this is a this is interesting. It's a it's like an action shot. They're like hiding behind a bunch of uh, logs, and then she's running off. I believe that's Kree Summer's character. Uh, it's been a while since I've touched on the Ewoks show. I don't remember names of the characters. I know, I know Wicked. I remember Tebow. Uh, then there was like the old ones. And then the, there was like the two girls. There were two girls, right? I don't remember. It's been a while, guys. I've been just... Okay, here's... Here, okay, yeah, there's some good ones in here. All right, there's... Speaking of Wick, there, there's Wicked right there. That's a good one. That is a very nice one to have. Uh, this is interesting. There's like white stuff on the back. Uh, apparently, when you buy a lot of animation cells, oftentimes they come. <coughs> excuse me. Oftentimes they come with like a piece of paper on the back, and uh, I guess the it was like the original sketch of the character, and I guess they use they use that to trace when they actually uh, make the the cell on acetate. Um, but yeah, that that's not a bad one at all. It's a little, again, a little bit off-centered, but that's okay. Uh, a couple more left in here. Some nice... The, okay, this is what, what I'm talking about. You get some really good uh, character shots. There's two more. Uh, there's this guy. That's a good one. Look at him. He's got his, he's got his axe. He's angry. That's good. Again, they got uh, paper on the back because I guess the piece of paper got stuck to it. It's interesting that they actually stick the paper to this. You would think maybe they would just, you know, lay the thing on top of it, and then I, I guess maybe to, I guess maybe to keep it from moving around. But uh, and we finally we oh it's another wicket. Okay, we like wicket. This one's a um, little little more emotion in this one. <laughs> uh, there he is. I think the other one is a lot a little bit nicer, but this one's pretty good too. Yeah. All right, I, I might get one or two of the Ewok ones framed, but um, the Brave Star ones, admittedly, are a little bit disappointing. The individual cells were way better, uh, so I will pack those up later. All right, well, uh, that is it for Animation Legends. I do have more stuff I'm going <coughs> to show off, though. Um, so uh, if anybody knows of any places like Animation Legends, uh, let me know. I... Um, I'm probably not going to like buy animation cells frequently because this, like I said, this is kind of an expensive hobby, especially when you're buying them from collectors on eBay, especially after they've bought out their inventory and now they're being resold at like marked up prices. Oh God. Speaking of which, I have some other stuff I'm going to show, just a couple. Um, but yeah, if anybody knows of any uh, like reputable places like Animation Legends that deals in animation cells and maybe has some decent prices, um... Let me know in the comments. I will keep an eye on them. Again, I can't guarantee I'm going to be doing another video like this because of price. Uh, speaking of which, uh, one of the first things I want to show off before we end here is uh, this. It's uh, Bugs Bunny. Uh, this is not an animation cell. This is what's known as a Siri cell. It's, um, I guess the best way to describe it is like, uh, it's... <clears throat> like an oh, I, I think there's like a chemical on the on the cells that's <clears throat> making me cough. I need to hurry up before I drop dead on camera. Um, 
so this is a series cell. This is like a, I guess like a limited edition print that is done like an animation cell. Um, the background is printed image and Bugs Bunny is on a uh, clear piece of acetate. And uh, you can see in the bottom, there's like a copyright. It's a uh, Warner Brothers, um, Warner Brothers 1990, I think. Um, this, I believe, came out in... So yeah, this is pretty old as well. This came out, I believe, for the uh, the Bugs Bunny short that came out in the early 90s, Box Office Bunny, which I believe was shown in theaters, obviously, because it's you know movie-themed. Uh, fun fact, I was actually uh, going through some VHS tapes. And I had The NeverEnding Story 2, and uh, that cartoon is on the VHS for this. Uh, this is actually, I don't think, like a particular scene from that short i think this is just maybe like a promotional image basically these are like limited edition you know collectibles uh, i've seen a lot of these online usually they're a lot cheaper than an animation sale this one i think i got for like 20 bucks um there's other ones they go up from there obviously but uh, it was one of the cheaper ones but i did really like it so uh i thought it was kind of cool and it kind of fits in with everything so uh before we end though i do have one more thing i want to show off this is an animation cell likely from uh from animation legends that was resold because i'm pretty sure i recall them uh selling cells from this uh so in the last video i mentioned one of the animation cells that i really wanted was from uh, an american tale the shot where five gets his hat and he's got his arms up and he's like like this with the hat on i thought i always thought that was adorable uh i have not found it i've seen other ones online from the movie but i've not uh I, I, they're expensive, but this one wasn't too expensive, thankfully. Uh, I have, hopefully the glare is not going to mess with this one. I have this. It's Fievel from, well, at first you're probably thinking this is from uh, Fievel Goes West. No, because uh, if you look at this and you look at the uh, movie, you can see that the colors and the shading are very different. Uh, this is actually from Fievel's American Tales, the TV show, and uh, the, the TV show that people never talk about, and I don't believe was ever released officially, except on a couple VHS tapes. Fortunately, it's on YouTube, and uh, I, actually had to, uh, I actually had to scrub through the episodes to find this particular moment. Uh, it's interesting, though, because... Um, when you watch the scene, like you only see like half of Fievel because he's like walking and the, the camera, like the camera is like right here on his face, on his body. Uh, so you don't see the bottom half of him. Uh, also the background for this, uh, I took a screenshot from the episode and I printed it out. It's not exactly the most high definition thing, but it, you can't really tell from the, from the camera, <clears throat> which I'm trying to, uh, not show the, uh, the glare from my light. But um, it is very nice, though. Um, it may not be from the movie or either of the movies or any of the movies. Fun fact, there were not two movies. There were four movies. <laughs> I didn't know about the, uh, the latter two until much later. I don't even think I've seen them yet. I'm probably not missing much. Uh, the show itself is just kind of okay. Uh, it was, it's fine from what I've seen and scrubbed through quickly to find the, the scene for this. But, um, yeah, I saw this, and I was like, you know what? That's kind of adorable. I want that. <laughs> and uh, it's mine now, and no one else can say that they had have this particular moment from that show. Same thing for all these other animation cells, which, by the way, my throat is acting up. I, something, I think, um, yeah, I think they've treated these cells with something, so I might have to pack them away for now and... Uh, get them prepare, uh, figure out which ones I want to frame. Um, I'm not sure what, uh, where I'm going to frame a lot of these. I, I don't have a lot of wall space, at least not in this room, maybe out in the next room. I might have something. Keep an eye on my Twitter. Maybe I'll post an update on that. Uh, also, um, I don't know if I'm, uh, you know, preserving these properly. Uh, I'm not an expert on this type of thing. I'm still pretty new to this. This frame is something I bought at Walmart. Okay. And the black borders, uh, on all of these, actually, even the, the Bugs Bunny one. Maybe I'll show that one off real quick. That's just poster board that I cut just to give it a border and block off, you know, the edges. Um, I think I did a pretty good job, although I don't know if uh, what I'm doing is preserving these properly. The, um, the Stampede one has been in this frame for many years. 
So, and it seems to be fine. But um, if anybody out there uh, can uh, let me know if I'm doing this right, because I do want to preserve these, because they are pieces of uh, animation history, and we respect animation on this channel. Uh, but yeah, let me know. Um, also, uh, let me know if anybody else out there has any cool animation cells that they've collected. Uh, I'm sure there's many out there. I have had my eye on a couple on eBay, but like I said, they're very expensive. The time will have to be right for me to get them. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do another video like this, but uh, uh, we'll see what happens in the future. Maybe I'll get lucky uh, and get a couple of cheap ones. There are some Thundercats ones on eBay at my eye on. None of you better buy them or else. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's uh, my animation cell video part two, I guess. Um, let me know if you have any cool animation cells in your collection hanging up in your house. Uh, let me know if there's any particular moments from something animated that you would love to have as an animation cell. Uh, I need to put these away because they're slowly eroding my throat, apparently. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching this. Uh, I'm going to get back to work. I'm, I'm really trying to put stuff out on this channel again. I've neglected it for a number of reasons, but we're not going to get into that right now. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Um, be sure to like the video, be sure to comment, uh, check out my other videos. And if you're new here, please subscribe. And, uh, I'm going to go, <laughs> I got to go pack all these up now. Hopefully I've not gotten a disease from this. It's fine. I'm just, I'm just making it worse than it actually is. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I will see you guys later.